This is my setup of the Unify Wi-Fi 6 uh, Enterprise Access Point. It's kind of tricky to get it going without buying one of the really expensive PoE Plus 2.5 gigabit Unify switches. So I'll show what I did to get it working and what I had to buy. First, let's do a hardwired speed test. I'm only paying for gigabit up and down, but they don't have quality of service turned on yet, so people using their own hardware can get just under 5 gigabits down and a little over 1 gigabit up. Okay. I'll do a Wi Fi 6 speed test. Let's make sure I'm on 6E at the top. I think that's the slowest download I've gotten so far and the highest is right around 1500 megabits. So nowhere near what it should be doing, but I'm not 100% sure what the Galaxy S22 Ultra should be capable of. I haven't seen anybody else share their results to see if it can go faster. So what I had to buy, I already had the UDM Pro, and that is going to the ONT from the fiber company to an ethernet cord a transceiver I have here and then we've got 10 gigabit going from the UDM Pro to the Unify switch aggregate which is only like $270 and gives you eight 10 gig ports they're all SFP plus ports but you can get transceivers or whatever you need so I've got 10 gigs going to this desktop here 10 gigs going to another desktop in another room and then uh, 10 well this is only running at one gig to this um, PoE switch. So to power the access point, I had to get a PoE injector and I had to make sure it was 2.5 gigabit capable. So I found this Cudi or Cudi brand one that's 25 bucks on Amazon. It provides the power, does what it needs to, it works. It interfaces at 2.5 gigabits just fine. Um, the tricky part in this setup was finding the right transceiver. I ended up going, well I have a couple over here. I've got Unify ones, I've got QSFT Tech, whatever. Um, none of those worked. I would get the right upload speed, but I could never get more than like three or 400 megabits down. So the one I ended up buying that worked is this Microtech S Plus RJ10. Pretty expensive compared to the other transceiver, transceivers I bought before, but this one at least nets me over a gigabit. So I'd say that's a win for now until I find out that other people are getting over two gigabits with their S22s. It's been a couple of minutes. I wanted to do another speed test and see if we get anything better than 1200. Almost 14. A little better. I got one more here. Of course, as soon as I turn the camera off and do it, I get even higher speeds. Must be some kind of interference having a gimbal, a camera, and all that so close to it.